I have not been in my room for the last eight hours. I'm hungry, I'm tired, my head hurts. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Shay Michelle and we are back for another video. This video is another day in the life vlog because it's been far too long and every single day of med school, like every day of the week is extremely different. So today is Monday and I'm gonna show you guys what a Monday looks like with a little added twist. This is one of the first days, first full day of our renal block. So we're diving into the kidneys. And if anyone knows, the kidneys are infamous for being one of the most complicated systems in the body just because the kidneys affect everything. The kidneys um, can affect your heart, kidneys can affect your appearance, can, can affect your lungs. The kidneys, no matter what system of the body you learn, somehow, some way, the kidneys are involved or like just something the kid the kidneys are everywhere first things first um one you can see all this stuff on my whiteboard because i literally just have my pulmonology test so of course we're going to have to erase that before we leave in order to really dive into this new block fresh and i want to tell you guys my new latest study strategy for this block what i plan on doing is again you guys have heard of boards beyond because i've said it a thousand times in my blog Boards and Beyond um, are just these short videos that are very specific on the content we learn in lecture, but it's kind of an outside resource, a third party resource. It's really nice because it's very like short, sweet, simple, and to the point. And so instead of like an hour lecture, I can watch a 10, 15 minute Boards and Beyond video. So for Reno, there's honestly probably 25 to 30 of them. And I don't know if this is efficient or not, but my goal for this block is to watch all of my Boards and Beyond videos as fast as possible. So it's Monday. I've already watched probably four or five. So in theory, I would love to be done watching these videos by the end of this week. So then I can go and watch lectures and review the PowerPoints more as a review. So that'll be like my second pass look. And then my third pass look would be just normal studying when I just review my notes and stuff like that. So that's kind of how I'm doing my iteration of like three looks at the material. Number one is just cramming boards and beyond videos for absolutely no reason. Number two is looking at lectures slash just skimming through the PowerPoints. And number three is just natural studying and like whatever I'm not picking up on, we just got to, we got to figure out why it's not sticking. On that note, it is 7.13 in the morning. Class starts at eight. I have lecture from eight to noon, which I'm gonna take you with because I'm gonna go to lecture. And then from noon to one, I actually have a meeting with the dean and then one to three, I have my leadership class. And then after three, we got an Amazon Fresh order coming in. So you know we have to do a pudding groceries up with Shay where we get all of the tea, so stay. And then we also, I have to cook some food because I don't know why, but I'm like preparing like I'm about to be just gone for 30 hours because I have no food in here. And that's why I have an Amazon Fresh order. And I'm just like packing galore because I'm supposed to be out the house for the next eight, nine hours. All in all, that's the gist. I'm about to go to a study room in the apartment complex I stay in and start watching my shortened videos. So hopefully I can finish the videos that correspond to today's lectures before lecture even starts. That's a very, very high goal of mine. If we're being realistic, I'll probably be 30 minutes late. That's okay though. I'm just about to finish up. First, I wanna clean my whiteboard because we're officially done with pulmonology and we're moving on and we're getting into renal and then I will see you guys when it's time to study. It's required, so that's why the room was packed, but there's probably like 10 or so classrooms with this many people in it, but 
basically now I have a few minutes until my meeting with the Dean to go over my club. My co-president should be walking through this door at any moment and I'm waiting for a message from her. But yeah, to, um, in this section, we were here for an hour and a half, but we got out super early, but we went over microanatomy. So kind of like looking at how all the cells look like in the kidneys and looking at like the juxtaglomerulus apparatus and everything like that. Hello. How'd it go? Good. I get so nervous when people walk in, but basically I think that was like the department head who came in to look at a stylist sheet. But um, on that note, I'm gonna wait until my co-president gets here and then we're gonna have our meeting, working lunch, I ate a granola bar, and then we have another required class from one to three. That's the leadership class. We're starting off again in the lecture hall so you guys will finally see another packed lecture hall with everyone in it. Here's my co-president and we're about to have our meeting, so we'll see you later. <laughs> you guys, I have not been in my room for the last eight hours. I'm hungry, I'm tired, my head hurts. Okay, my head doesn't hurt, but my eyes are tired. And I just, I need a break. But let's recap everything that has happened in the last eight hours. So you guys got a glimpse of my morning lecture hall that was literally empty. And then I had uh, my required class in the room. So basically, as you can see, technically what our med school looks like is it's a whole bunch of rooms with like smaller rolly tables and rolly chairs because it's more collaborative. That's kind of like the purpose of the environment. And so that is kind of exactly what you guys can see or saw in that last video. And then after that, I had my meeting with the Dean that actually went extremely, extremely, extremely well. There's so many events me and my co-president are so excited to put on and that kind of got lost in the translation during COVID. And so now that things are opening back up and we're able to host in-person events, we are so excited to actually get that going. And then after that meeting from one to three, it's 311, I just got back. I had my leadership course. Half of it was again back in the lecture hall and the other half was again back in the kind of like collaborative space with the same exact people. So we didn't have a video for that because it's the same thing, same people. We sat in different spots. But other than that, it was the same. So, what are we about to do now that it's 3 o'clock, 3.11? I've honestly already started sending out a mass amount of emails to different people for the organization I'm in that I had to meet with the dean with. I also had a meeting. So, you see this post-it note. This is important. I had a meeting with my kind of like... Uh, dean of like student affairs and stuff like that last week last Friday and I kind of was curious I was like I don't know what to do this summer or what should I do I want to get involved in research I want to do some shadowing kind of giving her, her my ideas and basically she was absolutely amazing and literally wrote down this like list of doctors that I should email and get into contact with about kind of like the specialties I'm interested in and the research I'm interested in because personally I'm not interested in traditional kind of like pipetting research I'm not interested in that I'm interested in more clinical real world health equity research and so she gave me honestly how many doctors on here one two three four five six seven I have nine doctors on here to potentially email about either shadowing or research that I'm excited. In theory, I'm going to try to email at least half of them or write the emails and schedule send it out for tomorrow. And then for the rest of the day though, I'm waiting on an Amazon fresh order y'all because I'm starving. So I'm going to make dinner at four o'clock. Don't judge me. You have to do what you got to do. But remember, I did come home for lunch. So I had a granola bar and I had yogurt for breakfast. This is I can't live like this. So I'm gonna make me a full blown dinner in just about an hour because my Amazon fresh order said it's one stop away. I surprisingly finished all the videos I wanted to do for today. Remember this morning I was watching videos in the study um, room. And so now what I'm gonna do is I wanna review my notes and I wanna get started on my um, flashcards. And so that's one of the things I'll do. Or I may just watch my videos for tomorrow, which is only one 30 minute video. So I actually may watch that video and take notes on it. So a 30 minute video realistically takes me about 45 minutes to watch because I have to like pause it to take notes and stuff, you know? Um, and then I have a meeting for the organization. I had the uh, meeting with the Dean with earlier today. We have a board meeting today at, today at seven o'clock. And so I have that board meeting seven to eight. And in actuality, I'm done studying by then. Today has been such a long day and I was pretty productive and there was tons of class. And I haven't been around over eight hours. So I just, I just need a break. I need a break. 
And on that note, that's exactly why that meeting will be the beginning of me not doing anything for the rest of the day. I'm going to sit in my room and I'm going to recollect my thoughts, let my eyes rest, watch some TV. So, cause you know, you have to make sure you treat yourself. Also to backtrack and tell you guys exactly what happened today. This morning I had three renal lectures and luckily one of them was microanatomy. That was the last one. And that was good because I like to watch the microanatomy lectures because I can't really get that from third party resources. So I like to actually do those in time when, when they happen in lecture. And then I have my leadership class. And today, for the most part, we were talking about different ways you can be a leader. So whether in your personal life, um, via purpose, via process, or via one more thing that I forgot. It was like four Ps. And so it was kind of like people figuring out or just like, thinking about you know what aspect there are leaders so a lot of people with med school said that they were leaders in purpose just because they felt like kind of like um guiding them to medical school they've been able to identify where they think their purpose lies and really been able to push towards and go through that go towards that goal personally i said i felt like i was a leader more in my personal life just because um kind of my interactions with family and friends i felt like it fit and i'm kind of nervous to talk about it on camera so one day and then yeah so on that note i am going to stop jibber jabbering and we're gonna wait for this amazon fresh order note it's very clear that lecture is over for the day no more class i'm going to be in this room or this apartment complex for the rest of the day and then yeah we're just gonna see you know what i end up doing so stay tuned the Amazon fresh order is finally here. After spending the last two-ish and a half hours um, eating, cooking, and making myself some cookies, I'm now gonna do some of my flashcards off of Anki. So we're just kinda gonna go through that. And so um, I never really explained my flashcards. So basically, the cool thing about these flashcards is like, they're flashcards once again, they're online. So you see it's like a line of writing, sometimes a picture come. What I like about them is you can get through so much so quickly. And yeah, they take about like 10 ish seconds per flashcard when you're really looking at them. Um, but I have mine set for a minute. So anytime I take more than a minute on a flashcard, it's like the time freezes because realistically, that probably means I've started doing something else. Um, so it kind of gives you a little timer, but my sound is always off. But yeah, I'm honestly just going to do flashcards for probably the next hour because at 6 30, I'm meeting with my co president again to go over. What we're going to go over with the large meeting or a large uh, body at seven o'clock. And then, yeah, then I'm just going to probably like call it quits, enjoy life a little bit and then get ready for tomorrow because tomorrow is Tuesday and I have to go to the clinic and tomorrow I'll be doing the ear, nose and throat exam on real patients. And that exam is just it's just very in your face, as you would expect, because it's literally like ear, nose and throat but it's like the most in your face i've been so that'll be interesting i definitely need to prepare and then we're learning kind of like how to deal with like talkative patients things like that because you know with being a physician you only have a certain amount of time like you're in each person's hospital room and so we go over you know how to redirect people who kind of like to get off tasks and stuff like that because you can't spend an hour in each patient's room because there's so many patients you know there's a lot more patients than there are physicians and so we kind of go over, you know, respectful and just efficient ways to kind of like guide conversations to make sure we get the required information to actually treat someone. But simultaneously, you know, do allow room for them to, you know, say their feelings and thoughts, but simultaneously make sure we're still efficient and can kind of fit in that time frame. And it's a very, I feel like it's a very thin line of like learning how to do this. So I honestly need to read something on that. But basically that's the gist. Let's get to these flashcards. Yeah, because everyone's yeah. position is pretty self-explanatory anyways. Right, and people can just like, I guess it's open for like people to collaborate and stuff. Mm -hmm. Help each other out with certain events. Yeah, so I feel like we have a special guest, everybody, in my room wait, but it's eight o'clock. I just got out of my meeting and told her all about it and how good it went and how excited our board is to do things. And on that note, my roommate is about to go studying like the diligent student she is. I am going to continue eating my cookie and I am going to watch the new season of Good Girls um, and send some emails, of course. Oh, and send the emails to all the physicians. I was telling you that my, one of the deans gave me the list of physicians. But on that note, that's the gist of a med school day. For the most part, you get a whole bunch of class 
and every single day is different. So Mondays is jam packed with class. Tuesdays are like clinic. And then Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays are kind of half a day of class, but lots of studying. And yeah, so please let me know if there's anything you would want me to talk about more, whether it's like studying, if you really want to see what we're talking about in class, if there's anything you want to see less, like you don't care what the lecture hall looks like anymore. That's, that's okay. That's okay. We don't care either. <laughs> None of us, it's fine. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> <laughs>